Hey guys, I'm Profits from WildProfits.com. Welcome to the next video in my gold making series about Trade Skill Master. This time we're going to talk about specifically uh, save searches or doing custom searches through the custom filter. So let's get started. This one actually involves going to the auction house and interacting with the auctioneer. So let's get started. First of all, go to your friendly auction house, open up the auction house, and when you have Trade Skill Master installed, click on the shopping tab at the very bottom. From here, you want to click on save searches. So when you first load up, you might have this sidebar over here or you might not. If I click save searches, a section is going to pop and appear to the right side of your frame. This will be any searches that you currently use or have used or have typed in the search field here at the very top. So let's say I typed in moss agate slash exact. Notice that it puts it up here, so it's always a rolling list of what you actually have here. If I type in gun, notice it's going to put anything here, and it's going to be a scrolling list of history. And you can remove the history if you wanted to. You can just uh, remove it by shift right-clicking, and you can go through, da -da -da -da, delete all the ones that you want. It's not really necessary. It's not taking up any space. It's not interfering with your shopping or your uh, buying or operations through Trade Skill Master in the auction house. It just as a quick way to be able to say, hey, I searched for this before, I want to click on it again, and let's search for it again. So for now, let's start with basic searches capability. This allows you, if you hover your mouse over the search field, it gives you some basic information on what you can do. You can do multiple searches for items by using or separating it, the limitation through a, as it mentions there, you can search for multiple things that once by simply separating them with a semicolon, for example. You can search for elementium ore, semicolon, obsidian ore. And we'll search for both at the same time. So if you wanted to search for gun, comma, moss, agate, hit the enter key, it would actually search and return back both uh, based upon that. So there's the shotguns, it return back moss agates anything that with the gun in it and there you go so another search that you can do is specifically for items and I use this a lot I use this every time that I buy things from the auction house especially my green groups that I call my flipping groups which are 77 to 80 gear 83 to 84 gear level 10 to 19 lobby greens uh, ghost forged plate that I buy anything that I buy I actually use search strings instead of groups. It's just how I work. As you notice, I have a favorite searches down here. So as you build out your searches, you can actually click on them and it'll actually add them to the bottom of your, sage, of your saved searches or favorites as it's called. And you can do that just by again hovering your mouse over the tooltips pops up. Right click to favorite this recent search. If I wanted to bring this down, right click, it adds it to the bottom adds it to the bottom. Same thing if I wanted to come down here and I wanted to remove it, right click, removes. So now let's say we wanted to do searches on my flipping groups. So we can build this out and if you see the the message there or the tool tips it's actually in like a I don't know, like a light blue color. Notice that it says it has armor as an example, leather, epic, 85 i350 and we'll talk about all this what it is i377 that's a search string what this basically says is show me anything that's armor that's of type leather that's epic of the rarity epic that's level 85 within these parameters of an item level item level 350 to 355 you can kind of see how powerful this is because now you can do searches on anything as long as you can break it down to what you want to search for. Let's try the flipping group, 77 to 80. So I'm going to do 77 slash 80, comma, or forward slash, sorry. Item level 272, item level 510, that's like the top, 40 gold. This is actually a search thing that I use to buy these greens with that I in turn have an auctioning or a selling group that actually lists them back up for 250 to 300 gold apiece. So I'm buying them for 40 gold and I'm selling them for that much. 
And you can see right away, there's quite a bit that comes up in the searches. And then it's just a determination of what you want to buy and then you know, what you want to sell back. If you are using this search, you want to be cautious because I typically do not buy things that are craftables. As you can see here, all these are leatherworking. All these are jewel crafting. Jewel crafting. So there's nothing really here that's actually I would buy blacksmithing. So someone's actually already buying these greens up on this auction house, but it shows you the flexibility of what you can do with these searches. Let's see, we want to search for pets. You can do pets. Let's do battle pets. Anything that comes up with the regular group, and you can actually do this if you do browse. See, it didn't come up properly. I don't know what the actual category name is. We'll get to what custom filtering is in a minute, which is kind of like a, a tutorial that will walk you through creating groups. But if I don't know what some is, I can go to the generic one, pet battles, or battle pets. Then come back here and try to type it again. Let's just do pets. Pets didn't come up. So we're not sure what that means. So let's go to custom filter, and let's try to make a custom filter specifically for battle pets, if we can, based upon what this is actually here. So the search filter right away is what you actually want to call. I don't know what it's called. I don't know what the item levels are. You go up in the class, and it gives you a drop down here. We want to search for battle pets. Subclasses, you can say, all right, what type of or what subclass of battle pet you want to search for. I want to search for any battle pet. So we're going to keep that as is. Rarity, let's see what's there for rare or higher. Usable means, uh, as it mentions there, the character will be used in the results. Exact is if you want to do exact searches. Maximum quantity buy, you can keep that blank. And then you can do start search. Notice it's going to put the actual query of what we were trying to type for this group up here when I hit start search. See that? We're missing the forward slash. So that will, this is actually, if you use custom filter, a query builder or a search builder to do any type of search that you want. So notice that it's actually working now. We'll let that come back real quick in the search if it goes fast enough. Very powerful and very flexible. You learn these, you'll be able to do a lot with Trade Skill Master real quickly, especially if you're just searching for basic stuff or you want to build out advanced searches and I'll show you some of the advanced searches using the semicolon. So here's everything that came back. Notice we didn't put a price so it's going to list everything out. I mean some of these are way up there. Rocket chicken for 24,000. Never heard of it but spectral tiger cub of course 40 almost 47,000. Almost 60,000. So let's say we wanted to put a quantity on it now or a range. Again you guessed it. It's almost like what you would enter typically through what we talked about with the shopping, with the auctioning, you just enter the gold amount. So let's say 100 gold. Remember the G, 100 G. Hit the enter. Automatically filters it. See how fast that is? Automatically filters it. So I like to sometimes say, all right, show me battle pets. I don't care what the rarity is, but show me anything that's less than 5 gold. There it is. So if you're searching for something cheap, you know it's going to come up common. But if it doesn't, maybe someone underlisted it. Maybe you can put 50 gold and they meant to put 500 gold and they only put 50 gold. You can kind of catch stuff like that. And that allows you the ability to be able to buy stuff pretty fast. But let's say we wanted to do multiple searches now. Let's go back to my save searches. Notice the things that we're adding was actually, again, appended to anything that we recent searched for, whether it's through a custom filter or it's actually through something we typed. Say, hey, I kind of like this paddle bets. Paddle bet. Battle pets. <laughs> I want to actually click it and move it to my fave searches. Right click. It's there. So now I can just search on it right away. As soon as I come into it, I don't have to know what the command is or remember what it is. So remember that 77 to 80 group? Look at this. Now I combined two groups that I typically buy greens for. 77 to 80 with this item level. And 83 to 84 with this item level. Same amount of gold, one search, and it returns in one section. So that's, again, optimizing or buying back a little bit of time for you guys to do other things. Let's go back into Customs Filter. 
let's say now we want to build out something for, let's see the categories here, glyphs. Click on glyphs. And you can do item ranges too if you want to, if you actually know what you want to search for. So required level range, item level range. So let's say we wanted to do something for level 25 to 90, like high-end glyphs. I think these are ranges. And then you can do subclass, say we only want to do mages. Rarity, doesn't matter. We'll at least do common, so it's always going to be common and above. I'm going to do start search. Notice it's going to clear this and type whatever the criteria is for this section here. It'll build it out automatically. There it is. Forward slash, level 25 to 90, glyphs, mage, common or above. And again, this is going to return anything. And then, you guessed it, we're going to actually put a price on the end of it just to show you the power of what we can do. So here's everything. Here's all the glyphs that came back. You can hover it over. Yep, requires level 25, requires level 25. Now let's go say, all right, I only want to see stuff that's uh, 25 gold, if there's anything. Enter 25 gold there. Again, it'll do the exact same search, come back with any results that it comes, and then you can have an option whether you want to buy it or adjust your prices accordingly. It's almost done. You'll see the scan bar going here. And here it is. Anything below 25 gold. And then you have the option to buy or do whatever you wanted to do with it. So now let's say we wanted to combine two of these. So now let's do a comma, forward slash, I think it was battle pets, forward slash, rare, forward slash, what was it? We'll say 200 gold. I think that was the search. So now we're not only searching for glyphs for this specific type of glyph, for this class, but also battle pets. Wait for this to come back, and then we should see a mixture of glyphs and uh, any types of pets. So there's the pets, again, below 200. There's the glyphs, below 25. You can string as many as you want. Now let's say, all right, let's add the 77. Oh, put the semicolon in between. 77 to 80, forward slash I, 272, I... 510 forward slash 50 uh, 40 gold. Now we're searching for three groups. Again, you want to kind of make sense of this. I'm just showing you that it definitely has the power to do pretty much anything you want to do. And again, if you don't know the groups, like prior in the video, I didn't know what the battle pet actual search criteria were. Use the custom filter, it allows you to build out custom searches very fast. So there's all the glyphs, there's all the items that comes through with that search. And that's it. There's the greens that are just popping up. So again, use the custom filter. Again, notice that save searches. Everything's here as you build out. If you are doing tests or samples, don't worry about it. Just let this be scrolling. This is the important section. When you finally nail down a search, right-click it and add it to your favorite searches. If you made a mistake, right-click, remove it, right-click, remove it. But keep this as a quick way to be able to do your searches fast, guys. So that's it. That's a quick way to do searches on the auction house, custom searches, and using the custom filter. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I'm Profits from WildProfits.com. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Of course, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to email me at WildProfits at gmail.com or Twitter at WildProfits, or feel free to find me on my website at wildprofits.com. Until then, guys, happy earnings. We'll see you in the next video.